Remember the Blood Dump Gang? They were this crazy mix of punk, rap, techno and miscellaneous sounds with lyrics that still today remain unclear if they were really smart or really dumb. They blew up in the late 90s, touring with punk and rock bands in the US until they gained massive popularity in Europe and Australia, filling up stadiums and performing alongside the major pop hits of that time. You might be familiar with some of their hit songs like I Hope You Die. I hope you I wish I was queer so I could get shit. Kiss me where it smells funny. Along comes Mary. JC Lane You certainly know their first big hit, Firewater Burn Hello, my name is Jimmy Poppin I'm a dumb white guy I'm an older, newer, middle school with Like junior high and probably even your mom knows their biggest hit, The Bad Touch. What you might not know is what they were doing on stage all along. Pranking fans. Oh, okay. You can take this one recorder, roll it off your nose, and get in the phone. I will give you thirty dollars of American money. On three, are you ready? One, two. Throwing up. <laughs> Peeing on each other. It's right through me. Oh, my little girl. In my arm. They can only do harm. Are you pissing on me? And even more. If you're a teen, maybe your mom loved these guys. And if you're a middle-aged guy, well, your wife. The Blood Hunt Gang was formed in 92 in Pennsylvania as a rap group featuring two MCs, Daddy Long Legs and Jimmy Pop. Initially, they struggled to find success performing in basements and at nearly empty clubs in New York. In 95, Long Legs departed after the release of their first record, Use Your Fingers. <laughs> J 
Jimmy Pop then recruited DJ Killball, bass player Evil Jared and the drummer Spanky G as the guitarist Lupus, transforming the MC Collective into a bona fide rock group, creating a style on match ever since. Between 96 and 99, they released two acclaimed albums, One Fierce Beer Coaster and Array for Boobies, propelling them into the music mainstream. Sweat, baby, sweat, baby, sex is a Texas drought, me and you do the kind of stuff that only Prince would sing about. Put your hands down my pants and I'll bet you feel nuts. Yes, I'm Cisco, yes, I'm Ebert, and you're getting too thumbs up. Jimmy Pop's lyrics were controversial. One of the songs on One Fierce Beer Coasted was banned by the label for being too offensive to Asian people. She said for all DT in China, me vagina no free. But me rubble ring a wrong a dandy ming dynasty. I said I needed her to do and her to do my laundry. I knew she needed a way to legally stay within the country. However, Hooray for Boobies managed to feature perhaps the most artless song ever written. Yet, it became a sensation. I was lonelier than Kunta Kinte at a Merle Haggard concert that night. I strolled into Uncle Lippy's hump palace looking for love. It had been a while. In fact, 365 had come and went since that midnight run and hauling hog to Shake the Town 101. I picked up his hitchhiker with sweating gowns, go with your busy dude cut off one of my photo neck tops. That night I thought to myself, ruby red lips, milky white skin, baby blue eyes. Name was Russell. Yes, I have done so much better when the creeper is crying. I said her name was Bambi. And I said, well, that's a coincidence, darling, because I was just thinking about skinning you like a deer. The Bad Touch video's homosexual partless censored this was the scene when Jimmy Pop swallowed Evil Jared's mouth wrap. Got limos, arenas, and TV shows, autographed pictures, and classy homes. Step off homes, get out of my way. Catch the little girls from here to LA. Waking up before I get to sleep, cause I'm a rockin' this party eight days a week. Jim Franks, also known as Jimmy Pop, played keyboards and guitar since he was a kid. <laughs> In high school, he adored his Casio and was a fan of Depeche Mode, Yutan Clan, and Beastie Boys, and other music in general. Get out of here! There you go. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! During the golden era of the Blood and Gang, he was a jackass with Pam Margera even before jackass became a thing. Oh, fuck is that? I'm trying to figure out what to do to save his hand. He also liked doing some strange things on stage and putting weird stuff on his mouth. Oh, that was great. My dad's here, dude. Well, they all put weird stuff in their mouths. Suck it! 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 You know, I went to school, I went to college, I had dreams. And then all of a sudden, I'm, there's like a toothbrush in my penis. And, right, and I'm listening uh, to the nothing, dark side. I had nothing to do with the toothbrush in your penis. I don't know where this is going from. <laughs> right. Both did a nauseating spectacle that would have put GGL into shame. Oh, Kenny! Oh. 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 Oh
Evil Jared was known since his teens for falsely claiming to be David Hassel of Bastard's son and building muscles like his fake dad, as well as eating small animals while performing with his hardcore band Vaginal Blood Fart. <laughs> He also let people throw darts at his back, and this was years before Jackass. And they throw yeah, darts. Throw, yeah. throw darts on him. I'm like, who who does this? Yeah, I never. The, the, that's that's why the One Fierce Beer uh, Run documentary should be mo viewed by more bands because that's how a band is on tour. Stop, stop, as I drop this bar, blow up this place like another Vietnam. <laughs> Despite his grossness, Evil Jared used to steal the show with edgy stage acts, always ending up as the coolest dude around. He even stole all the girls. Girlfriend didn't like me, thought she might be most likely a dyke. She just didn't excite me, but the yeah, but that was all. She was hotter than the sun, but she just wasn't that bright. I'm a stick, she was more fluffy than a leper colony. I think I wouldn't close my water, but much better. It's like a ducky, I can fucking keep her on her. She's a fucking summer lover, her dyke quicker than a back to see. Really, bird gets swerved, spread your legs, spread the word. What a bomb, I'm smart as Peter in the turd. Whips grow that everybody could come in any color. And I'm looking for the kind of girl that reminds me of my mother. Well, Jimmy Pop couldn't come. Play neither. For me, for free American singles only. Head for Nexic and Orexic. The winner is the thinner. Won't have to take the skinny ass at two events and dinner like Sizzler. Spanky G, the drummer, was almost half the size and weight of Evil Jared. He looked like a 10 year old despite being 18, and he was insane like everyone else in the band. Oh, and a heavy weed smoker. <laughs> Spanky G, whose real name is Michael Fuller, left the band after recording a Ray for Boobies. Years later, a DVD of their 97 tour was released, portraying Spanky being mistreated in various ways. You know, Mikey, the, the drummer, the little kid. Sp Spanky G, yes. Spanky G. Six Spanky G. G. Uh, the poor kid. Like, when I was, <laughs> like, I don't even know if we used everything in that video, but they just tortured that poor little guy, especially Jared. The rest of the band didn't come off well in that picture. You may buy the DVD if you want to see what I'm talking about. The, the drummer was like a famous stoner and he was sponsored by a bond company. So you, we would come in there and during the show, people would just throw bags of pot. I think that the, the I and mean, I hadn't smoked pot since high school, but I think the DJ probably will take any drugs that he can get get his hands on. She's a fucking whore. Very good. I'm into this audience. DJ Cubal, real name Mary Dean, was a hardcore hip hop fan with a college degree. His backing vocals left a lasting impression, stronger than his performance as a DJ. Besides being known for beating up Pac Man,
was notorious for his lifestyle revolving around sex, drugs and rock and roll. Lopez, whose real name is Matt Stigliano, a longtime metal fan, was perhaps the most normal member of the band. He didn't seem to embrace the wildness as fondly and was more known for running the Blood on Gang's website. He left the band in 2008, moved to Texas with his wife and started working in real estate. Now my name is Mark, this is sweet as the punch. Oh, I'm strong. Now my name is Mark, this is sweet as the punch. As for the band, in 2006, they released a new album and decided to incorporate Golden Showers into their shows, which eventually led to the end of their careers. Here in my arms, words are very Can only do harm. Are you peeing on me? That's fucking foul. With no new material and barely performing live, in 2013 they attempted a world tour. During a performance in Ukraine, Jared performed the Golden Shower stunt but ended up urinating on Ukraine's flag. Jared also used to stuff flags down his pants, doing that along the years. Still in Ukraine, he stuffed the Russian flag in his pants and asked to not tell Putin. Don't tell Putin! But the Russians didn't take it well and attacked the band, kicking them from the country. They were banned both from Ukraine and Russia and never performed live again. As of 2023, after releasing their last album in 2015, Jimmy Pop lives in America and he guarantees that the band isn't over. But the heat that excites and brings down panties. Yet still being a jackass with Bar Marchera. <laughs> Evil Jared has been a longtime resident of Germany since 2006, working as a boxer, a bike driver, porn actor, and more. Spanky G returned to school and now lives a normal life with his family in Pennsylvania. He's really discreet. Kibola is succeeded as a nightlife entrepreneur, owning nightclubs and continuing to party in his 40s. As for Lopus, I don't have current information, but I assume he still lives in Texas. Yeah.